to the Tantrum House board game news today game show show. Whatever it's called, uh, we're glad you joined us here today. We're your host. I'm Jonah Dew. And I'm Will Meadows. And today we're going to be talking about some of the hot new games that are coming to the industry that have just been announced. We're also going to be talking about some brand new games that are hitting store shelves this week. Yeah, so we've also got an interesting board game YouTube show to tell you about, along with an announcement about our next event. And maybe we'll throw in a top 10 list or something as well. Let's get rolling! Wasabi Entertainment has just produced a number of digital apps, along with a series of books based on their hit game, Weirdwood Manor. They recently announced that they are going to design a board game built in this Weirdwood world, and the game designer, Mike Cassie, is documenting his game publishing experience episodically on YouTube. The video series is produced by Mike, and it will follow him from the very early stages of concepting the game all the way through uh, their Kickstarter and final delivery. If you're an inspiring or aspiring board game designer, uh, or if you just enjoy media that provides kind of a peek behind the curtain, then you'll definitely want to check out their Weirdwood Manor YouTube channel so that you can follow the journey. Yeah, if you're a Keyforge fan, you'll be excited to hear the latest news from Asmodee. In September last year, Fantasy Flight Games announced the new release of Keyforge would be on hold until future notice because their unique deck building algorithm was broken and needed to be rebuilt. That's right, but last month, Ghost Galaxy acquired the Keyforge IP and the card game rights from Asmodee. And while it's kind of like a tangled web, honestly, Ghost Galaxy is kind of the originator of Keyforge through their owner, who's now owns this new company. Uh, and so the cool thing is that now that they have it back, they've already been working on next generation software uh, for creating these procedurally generated card games. And so Ghost Galaxy has stated that they intend for the news for the Keyforge fans to be coming out very soon. Uh, they'll be given announcements and making things in the next couple weeks. So if you want to learn more about that, you can check it out at Keyforging. Com. I gotta be honest, I really am interested in their deck building secret algorithm. I know. That was that would be that I feel like if I had it, the, the un ultimate unlimited power. possibilities. Yeah. <laughs> so many. There are several brand new games that have just recently popped up on our radar. One of those I'm excited about is Micro Macro Crime City. All in. It's the next edition of the crime written black and white search and find game. You've got 16 new crime cases that are waiting to be solved by one to four detectives. Now, these new stories are more sophisticated and more criminal than ever. The aim of the game is to determine motives, final evidence, and convict the perpetrators using just your eyes and your imagination. Individual cases are going to be marked with symbols to help parents decide which cases even the youngest investigators can work to uncover. Very cool. Tasty Minstrel Games has announced an expansion to Crusaders Thy Will Be Done. This one's called Divine Influence. Players in this game will claim new divine influence over regions with their new and improved influence actions. They'll be able to take advantage of four new building types and explore four new knight orders as well. Ravensburger has announced that it will re-release a reimagined version of the classic game Puerto Rico soon. Images have started popping up on the internet and employees at Ravensburger have stated that the game will be created in partnership with a culturally diverse and representative team. This version of the game will be set in post-independence Puerto Rico and it won't include themes of coloniz colonizism. Co colonialism. Colonism. Co you know what I mean. Colonialism. Co colo oh, that's it. <laughs> Woo! Now, while we don't know the exact details on the theme and gameplay, it does appear that the game will feature similar components and very likely similar mechanics. Stonemeyer Games just announced a fourth quarter release date for Wingspan Asia Expansion. They've revealed one new card for now with promises to reveal one bird card each month until the official release of the game later this year. I feel like one bird card a month is nothing because we <laughs> know this game's going to have hundreds of birds. <laughs> right. They all come with stacks like this. I'm so excited for that one. Show me one. But of course, and finally, designer Wolfgang Warsh has announced his continued cleverness coming up in late 2022 with the release of Clever Forever. It's the next game in the Gong Shong Clever lineup. Now we'll keep you posted with more news about that as it comes, but I think that wraps up the hot new games coming soon. These are some of the hot new games that should start appearing at your friendly local board game store starting 
right now. Yeah. In Yak from Asmodee Editions, the village elder has tasked you with constructing a great stone tower to help the merchants and their yaks find your village in the Himalayas. Players will have to build their towers by acquiring stones from specific merchants visiting their village. However, the dense fog in these regions can disorient the yaks and make your construction plan fall apart. I think Sarah and I might have a video that we're working on right now that'll be coming soon about that one, so keep your eyes out. Uh, the game will be featured on our YouTube channel, just like the game Rear Window. I believe Kevin and Melissa have a video on this. Uh, this is coming from Funko Games. In the game, you'll experience Alfred Hitchcock's masterpiece film in this game of deduction and suspense. Carefully observe strange clues and ominous patterns in the things that are going on in the apartment across the way. Yeah, in Rear Window, one player takes on the role of director Alfred Hitchcock and communicates via building window clues and signs for the other players, hopefully giving them enough info to go on that they can figure out who the murderer is or whether a murderer even took place. Yeah, never know. In Gutenberg from Grana, uh, it's a game for one to four players in which players will act as the pioneers of printing in the 15th century. By improving their printing workshops and gaining the support of their patrons, they'll develop their production capacity and the game will be won by the printer who boasts the greatest recognition and wealth. That's right, and we actually did a viewpoints on the game Gutenberg, so if you're looking for specifics on that game, shoot on over to one of our other videos and watch it. We've got another game to talk about. In space, the rule of law is more of a loose guideline, right? So someone has to guard the galaxy. In the new Legendary, a Marvel deck building game, Marvel Studios Guardian of the Galaxy. Your adventure will unfold as you recruit the well-meaning but questionable characters of the Guardians in the Galaxy to fight by your side against galactic threats like Ronan the Accuser. This new exciting Marvel Cinematic Universe Legendary expansion features characters from the first and second Guardians of the Galaxy movies. Add them to your deck and you can ride across the legendary cosmos with these mighty misfits in your hands. And finally, pre-orders for Star Wars Power of the Dark Side Villainous will open on July 10th at Target.com, as well as should be showing up at your friendly local game store. Very cool. Before we wrap up this episode, we wanted to invite you to join us for our Tantrum House House Party coming September 1st through 3rd to a YouTube channel near you. Yeah, that's right. We'll be spending the first three days of the month hanging out right here live, streaming a bunch of new games and gameplays and activities that we'd love to have you be a part of. We'll actually have a Zoom set up so that you can play several of the games with us along from your house, uh, and we'll be partnering with a few companies in order to create a truly interactive experience so that you can be a part of the action wherever you might be tuning in from. There's more information available on our website at tantrumhouse.com forward slash house underscore party. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for joining us on this episode. We look forward to seeing you here again very soon. The Tantrum House team will also be hanging out at Southern Fried Gaming Expo in Atlanta in July and Gen Con in August. We'd love to see you guys there as well. Till next time, remember you, you heard it here first. How did I say gong shong clever appropriately but couldn't get colonial <laughs> colonial players? Hopefully. Shoot. Neighbor kid. <laughs> it's gonna happen two more times. Give it a second. Okay. Sent from my iPhone. Da -da 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 -da. Not Got bad. It. <laughs> it's Kate Bush. I actually don't know any of the words that she actually said. I don't know the words. That's all I got. <laughs> Me too. <I'm> <laughs>